got my coffee and we are heading out later today to go camping for four days so I want to make sure that my garden is watered healthy ready to go so that I think it's supposed to rain a couple times when we're gone so that's not won't be too bad um, so let's start here um, the black-eyed Susan vines are doing well everything whoop, um, it's a little breezy out um, the um, bachelor buttons look really good in there these pots look really really good I love the colors in this basket it's going to be so gorgeous all right have a look at the sweet peas and the lettuce. This lettuce was planted last winter, so it's uh, doing not too bad. It's, some of it's going to, to seed, um, so I'm going to have to pull that. But then the marigolds are flowering back there behind, in front of the window. The spinach you can see is growing nicely. The radishes. I don't see a lot of savory. Oh yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, Mary Gold's um, volunteers from last year. My grape does have uh, leaf hoppers on it. Um, I have sprayed it with uh, soap and oil, but maybe I didn't have a high enough oil content. When I get back from camping, I'm going to have to really get serious on that. My romaine lettuce is popping up. The uh, basil between the rocks there. The glads are doing really well. I'll come back to the greenhouse in a minute. I've got my coffee in my hand, so opening the greenhouse is um, a little difficult. Um, this basil is outside. You'll notice a difference between this basil and the basil in the greenhouse that chives I've had in that box for like eons. Loves it in there, apparently. My irises are doing well, still not flowering. I've thrown the wheelbarrow in the sandbox just temporarily, so. Um, Delphinium looks really healthy, is going to flower. In behind here, um, there are, I don't know if you can see them, but there are glads coming up. Bleeding heart. I lost a cucumber. I don't know why. It just up and died on me. And it was a straight eight cucumber. But the other ones seem to be faring pretty good. Um, what am I going to show you now? This little flower bed looks good. My Scottish moss is not doing as well as it was last year, but at least it, there's some of it's growing. Actually, I have potatoes in that bucket. Um, and uh, I'm just going to stop this and restart it because the sun's in and I can't see it. So. so the little flower bed that I made here with delphiniums and lupins and I've seeded other things in here. Um, cosmos. What else did I seed in here? I can see there's a, a volunteer sunflower. We feed the birds so we get sunflowers everywhere. Um, the beans down this way are starting to come up. Um, but let's just take a detour over here at the corn. You can see the corn coming up. So that'll be really interesting to see what happens there. Um, so you can see the beans slowly popping up. There's <coughs> another one and another one. Here's another beautiful basket. This is going to be gorgeous. I love the... Look at the colors in those petunias. Those um, lavender ones are just amazing. And then they just kind of pick up the color of the lobelia. It's going to be stunning. Down here we have, if we can see, some carrots coming up and beets, lots of beets. I need to thin those out. 
Um, cabbages seem to be doing okay. Oh, more beans coming up. Yay! Peas. If the birds would leave them alone, it would be better. So, and then over here, my squash. They seem to be doing not too badly. That's a chamomile back there. <clears throat> Broccoli. Apparently there's two in there. They're doing okay. This squash doesn't seem to be too happy. Don't see anything unusual, but and this is a volunteer. I didn't plant it there, it planted itself. So uh, new peas coming up too. So um, looks like it's nicely nicely wet. It's quite breezy out. Things are in disarray when I get back. I'm going to definitely clean up this area. Broccoli. Um, uh, zucchini that I planted from seed after I pulled the other ones out there. Seem to be doing well. I can't remember when I planted in this pot, but time to do it. And yeah, these are still doing well. I still love this area. For these begonias to flower, they're going to be gorgeous. And look at this! Look at this! Isn't that stunning? Got a couple of pansies tucked away in these little pots. Um, <laughs> these pot plants are so mean to them putting them out here, and they didn't handle it well. But hopefully, they'll recover. All right, well, that's it for today, folks. Wait till that fills in. That's going to be so beautiful.
Ba-ba-da-ba-ba
second. So we're back from camping. Look at this, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, things fared really well. They were a tad dry, but not too bad. So, um, the uh, couple of the lettuce bolted, but they've been in there for a while. Um, so everything fared really well, except for one thing, and I'm really choked about it. The squirrels ate my straight eight cucumber. So now I just have two cucumbers left and they're both pickling cucumbers. And we'll see. Look at the delphiniums. I got about seven stalks on there. That's pretty exciting. Well, there's that squirrel. A little nasty little thing. What are you doing? Hello. What are you doing? doesn't know what to make of me. He says, you're interrupting my breakfast. I hope I'm getting it right into the sun so I can't see. Anyway, look at the corn. <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. The carrots are up. The beets are looking great. And everything looks really, really good. Look, the beans are up. I hope I'm getting this. I can't see my screen. So, and my zucchini. Those broccoli are doing well. Something's eating my cabbages, so I have to figure that out. But, uh, yeah, everything's, everything is good. They were digging in my begonias, and they did dig up that little bulb. These are all doing 
so well. I'm excited. So we're just going to give him another taste of water th this morning. And uh, yeah, that's it. Because the squirrels ate my straight eight cucumbers, I have three seeds here. And I'm, I, um, one of my cantaloupes didn't make it. So I'm going to plant the three seeds in that bin there in the greenhouse. And when they sprout, I'll leave one in the greenhouse and plant two when they get um, a nice size back out where they were. So wish me luck.